Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you like reselling videos, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out today. All right, so today I'm back with a Goodwill outlet haul. Yay. So I went on a day where it was snowing um, and I thought there won't be too many people here. And there kind of was and kind of wasn't. I was actually surprised at how many people were there on a snowy day. So clearly we all had the same thought. We were like, nobody will be here. And people were there. So anyways, if you're not familiar with the Goodwill outlet, it is a Goodwill location where you pay by the pound. It's essentially the last stop on a long journey for clothing before it probably is going to hit the landfill. So anyways, um, I resell clothing on eBay and Poshmark. So I'm going to show you what I picked up. So I got some interesting stuff this time. I actually got some hard good items, which I'm not going to show you in this video because I'm going to show it to you in another video. I'm going to sell those items locally on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to do a follow-up video on how much money I made from them and what my experience is like with that. I do sell on there just in general, but I know a lot of people are like, how do I do it? How do I start? It's not that hard, but if you want a little direction or see what I sort of items sell, then that will be that video. All right, out of frame. Okay, so here is, I can't even hold this bag, it's too heavy. <laughs> so I got some other interesting items too. I picked up linens, which I never pick up linens, but I'm gonna show you the ones I got because you're gonna be like, oh, okay, interesting. This is not a linen, this is actually a scarf. I haven't figured out totally what it looks like. It's long, it's patchwork, it's embroidered. Um, the brand is called, I don't know what this is, Vismayo, I think, V-I-S-M-A-Y-O. However, I did see the RN number is 66170. So that means it's either Urban Outfitters or Anthropology. Just from the look of it, this, look like, this looks like Anthropology. So there's some loose strings on there that I'll have to cut. But yeah, so I got that. Um, the next two items are the linens that I purchased. I actually washed these, so they're nice and clean. I'm not gonna open this whole thing, but this is a duvet cover from Urban Outfitters. So somewhere on here, right here, I saw, I spotted, it says UO Home. So I was like, I wonder if that's Urban Outfitters Home. Uh, it is, it does have the 66170 on here. This is 100% cotton. It's a really nice duvet cover. I'm not sure if it's for a queen or a king. It, it kind of looked big, but again, I don't know. So, you know, that rule of thumb where there's one, there's two. So this is another duvet cover. I'm guessing it's owned by the same person because what are the odds? Same bins, same Urban Outfitters home. So anyways, yeah, I got those two. Do you guys pick up linens ever? I generally don't, but my reseller friend, Melissa and I were standing there and we we're like, oh, let's look in these because they rolled out some linens and we actually both found a ton of stuff. And I don't know if, I didn't get the impression she regularly looks through linens either, so. Okay, next item, did I fold this? I think I did, because I don't want it getting wrinkly, is a flat sheet and a pillowcase from Pottery Barn Kids. I think it's Pottery Barn Kids, and it's this Parisian print. This flat sheet is actually really large. It almost looks like it's for a full or a queen. What does this say? It's for a queen, and it is Pottery Barn Kids. If your child has a queen size mattress, then that makes sense because you also have pottery barn sheets so you probably have a bougie kid <laughs> does your kid have a queen size match I'm like my son has a twin I never had a queen till I was an adult is that a thing um here's my receipt I guess my total for the day I can tell you guys including tax was $74 um but like I said I got some items that I'm not showing you here today so that factored into it okay next I'm going to show you some shoes that I picked up I have not cleaned them yet so they're kind of rough. Okay, there is another one of these. I'm just not grabbing it. But this is a Torrid shoe. It's kind of got this like wrinkle here because it kind of needs to be stretched out and it's a little dusty. So I need to clean it up. But I've actually never found Torrid shoes before. I don't know if that's weird or not, but this is my first time. It's got this cool like Aztec Southwestern print. Um, I thought these were real cute. They're a size eight. If they were a 10, I'd consider keeping them, but they're in I mean, other than just needing a wipe, I actually think they're in pretty good condition. Um, I'm not expecting that the resale is going to be really high on those, but I'm probably going to be able to find a good amount of information on them because Tori generally keeps a lot of the information on products within the past 
three to five years um, on their website somewhere still. Okay, these I just thought were so cute. Um, I will pick up Crocs from time to time, and I thought this was a really cute one. This says Iconic Crocs Comfort, so I don't know if that's a special line. These are a size nine. Again, if they were my size, I'd consider keeping them. Just this gladiator set style. You see it's got like the glitter there and then kind of this like, I don't know, it's like a stone or almost like an animal print there. The bottoms need a wipe, but they still have a good amount of traction to them. So yeah, you know, spring and summer is upon us. Okay, next, I think I thought, I think I was thinking of sending these to thread up, actually. But because they're real cute, but I don't know if I want to sell them myself. They are Franco Sardo, which have a good, uh, like a high retail price. I'm not sure that the resale is always there on it. It's just this cute espadrille. It's an espadrille, right? Yeah. Um, with this lace up, you know, goes around your ankle. These are a size. What are you? Oh my gosh. Eight and a half. Anyways, they're in good condition. So I think I'm going to send them to thread up. And second to last pair of shoes. They're still bunched up here, but they're a pair of Keens. Keens can have a good resale value to them. Um, they're in really good condition on the bottom. They're actually in really good condition in general. Like it doesn't look like somebody wore them that much. So cool, wonderful. Uh, the size on them is, I don't know, oh, here it is. It's a US eight and a half. A lot of eight and a half. Okay, last pair of shoes I picked up were these Fry. Is this Fry? What what brand is it? Yeah, Fry. Little ankle shoes. <laughs> it's not a boot <laughs> shoe. Um, the condition on them, I probably shouldn't have picked them up, and I actually don't even know if I'm gonna resell them because I took them home and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So I don't know. It's like if somebody wanted to. Oh God, this one's even worse. No, I'm not selling them. Nope. Okay, we'll put those down on the ground because that's the end of the shoe haul. So now let me show you the clothing that I got. Okay, so first up is this Eddie Bauer jacket. I actually recently picked up this item. It was probably in a haul. I picked it up probably within the past two months and it sold really quickly. Like literally the exact same print, the exact same size. Um, this is just like a lightweight shell. It's a size extra large. It's this cool white pattern. I kind of thought about keeping it because I was like, okay, second time's a charm. This means I'm supposed to keep it, but I'm not gonna because I know the last one sold really quickly. Some Eddie Bauer stuff will sell quickly. I would say the majority of Eddie Bauer stuff maybe doesn't sell. I really like picking up the Eddie Bauer Ascent line. So if you see Eddie Bauer Ascent, check comps on it because it might be worth your time. Okay, next is a North Face jacket. This one's an extra large juniors. Sorry, that was my anchor. Um, it's in pretty good condition. There is like a stain. I feel like there was like a stain somewhere on it. I don't know. It's minor. Like I didn't think it affected somebody's ability to wear a North Face jacket. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It's real faint. So that's the only flaw. Otherwise, it's in good condition. So let me scoot that stuff. So yeah, excited to sell that one. Next is a Torrid dress. I was nervous to pick this up because it's white and thing, you know, it's hard, <laughs> hardly ever can you find something that's truly white at the bins. But I think this is. So this is a Torrid size one, which is like, I think equivalent of like maybe a 16. And what's nice, like I said about Torrid items, is that they give you a fair amount of information somewhere inside here on the care tag. So if you flip it over, it'll have right here the style number uh, and information there. So yeah, this will be a nice spring item. Uh, let's see, what else do I got in here? I have some stuff mixed in that I... I'm not going to show you because I probably showed you in another haul, but this, so I don't know if I showed you this in another, another haul, so I'm going to show it now, but it's a cut for the cloth or cut from the cloth. What is it? Cut from whatever. It's, I got cut and cloth correct. It's a size extra large jacket. It's real cute. It's got these like little frilly thingy, whatever. It's kind of like a, almost like a Jersey material. I thought about keeping it for myself. That's why I don't think I ever showed it in the haul, but, um, the fit was a little bit snug on me, so I'm not going to keep it. 
Okay, the item that I was like super duper excited to find at the bins was this Ducati jacket. So Ducati is a motorcycle jacket company, right? Um, I don't know what the size is. It's somewhere in here. I wonder if I got a picture of that tag. But anyways, I looked up comps on this. It's got like all this like shell padding. It's super heavy just because I think, you know, if you fall, you're supposed to like still be kind of okay. I'm not sure this would protect you from a broken bone, but anyways, comps on this were average sold price was, I think to be exact, I saw $101. Now, obviously that means people got more and some people got less. I'm going to probably price mine somewhere at that 101 and hope it sells fairly quickly. And the sell through rate on them was really good as well. Um, yeah. Okay. Next couple of items I got were... Okay, this dress was so cute. Okay, or fun. Okay, look at that. It's like a, is that a chihuahua or something? <laughs> With a third eye. And then it's got these like crossbones here. So the brand I never heard of, it's called Killstar. Have you guys ever heard of this brand before? Let me know. It's a size extra large. The only problem is, so comps on it were like around or close to $30. There's a hole in the back. So I'm just going to disclose that flaw and I'm going to let somebody else sew it. Because I already took the pictures and now I don't want to do it again. So... Um, I also picked up this pure Jill piece. Um, it's a size extra large. It just kind of gave me like boxy lag and look vibes and lag and look sells really well for me. So I'll definitely put that in the title. And what is this thing? Uh, this is a Fredericks of Hollywood. If I can find the top of it, vintage Fredericks of Hollywood dress. Here's the tag. Mm, it's upside down, but there's the tag. Um, this is a size 11, 12, and it's just this lacy tiered dress. This also kind of, you know, this is the second dress recently that I picked up that kind of give me like, gives me steampunk vibes. So if you watched a recent haul of mine, I mentioned that term. I just realized I have a few items that I'm gonna send a thread up from this haul. Let me go grab the bag. I'll be right back. I boxed them up, but I want to show you guys because I know people are asking me all the time what I send to thread up. So let me show you what I send to thread up. Okay, this one, I don't know if they'll take it. I'm just going to send it anyways because I thought it was cute. It's just this chunky knit open front cardigan. The brand is called Brave. I should cut that. The brand is called Brave. I, do you guys know where Brave is sold? I have no idea. Anyways, there it is. It's really soft, open front, and it's got this braid down the back. I think it's like a size large or extra large. I'm not sure. So there's one of the items I'm sending. I'm also going to send, stop it, this pair of Maurice's jeans. I thought these were really cute. They're distressed. They have a raw hem. They're skinny. I've seen before that Maurice's sells well on thread up so people buy it I don't know it's not for a ton of money okay so I'm this I'm not telling you to send in what I send in this is just what I send in um I got this she in skirt it's a size 2xl I thought this was really cute um it looks like linen but I'm not sure that it is but it's just a really cute piece and I'm like is that the last one I think there's a couple more uh next is this abound cardigan medium animal print I thought it was cute. And next is, I think this is Sejour. Yes, it's a size 3X, kind of color block, two-toned, lacy, three-quarter sleeve top. And then I also have these Ann Taylor Loft skinny jeans. And these are the, I don't know what the style name on these ones is. The Modern Skinny, size 25 slash zero. I actually thought about just keeping these and selling them, but I'm kind of curious if how, if and how Ann Taylor jeans sell on ThreadUp. I don't think I've sent them before, so I just want to test it and see how it does. Um, if any of those like six pieces I just showed you interest you, I'm sorry, they're gone. I don't have them to sell to you anymore. You can buy them on ThreadUp. Um, but if anything else that you're, if you're interested in anything else, check my Poshmark and eBay store. Check my eBay store first because it's usually on there. Um, or you can reach out to me directly if you don't see the item. Sometimes, for whatever reason, I just haven't listed it yet. Um, but yeah, that's my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.